If you are under the sound of my voice right now, just know your light has come and your life will never be the same. Without wasting much of your time, let us lead the way for today. We are going to lead from John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. Our text today is the two steps to your blessing. All you need in your life is the blessing from the Lord. And all blessings as we lead in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says all blessings comes from the Lord to you through Jesus Christ. Meaning that you cannot be blessed without Jesus. You need Jesus here on earth for you to be blessed, for you to enjoy this life. And at the end of this life, you will need the Holy Spirit as well to take you from the earth and meet the Lord in the air. So, there are two steps you need for you to be blessed. Our text says, this was Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Meaning that all what you need is the life with the Father. The life with the Father is like a blessing. But for you to have that life in the Father, you need a way. And Jesus says, I am the way. The way and the truth. So you need two things to get the life. You need two things to see the Lord, to visit the Lord for you to get blessed. You need Jesus and you need the word of his truth. When these two meet, I tell you, you have everything. You have the power that will give you access, not just access, but even possession to all what you need. For you, to have something, there must be access, and then you possess it. When we read Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 52, the Bible says Moses was only shown that this is the land the Israelites will enter. You have just seen it, but you will not enter it. Meaning that he, he just had access to see, but not to possess the land. Possession and access are two different things. When you want life, when you want a blessing, that means you want to possess such kind of a blessing. And the Bible says Jesus is the way. That means for you to have access to the blessings of the Lord, you only need Jesus. Jesus only gives you access, doesn't give you that which you need. But the truth of his word, the way that comes from his mouth, now start giving you that kind of an access. Jesus will just open the door of treasure, will just open the door of the house that has got the treasures in it. So when that door has been opened and then you enter it, you need eyes now to see where your possessions are, to see where your blessings are. That means it is a house contained by several blessings. Whatever you are going to see is what you are going to get. Whatever you are going to see is what you are going to possess. If you don't see it, you are not going to possess it. It's not just enough to have Jesus. It's not just enough to have the Holy Spirit. You must make use of the Holy Spirit in you to start exploring what do I have? What inheritance do I have? What is with the Father? By being a child of God, what do I have access to? So you know all these things by spending your time in the Word of God. You know all these things by spending your time leading the Word, following the teachings, listening to the Word of God, and then you you know what has been granted unto you as a child of God. And then in that way, you will be able to possess that which you have seen, to possess that which you know. You cannot inherit that which you have not seen until you know that your father has such kind of a thing. Then you will be able to inherit it. And you cannot know 
that your father has something without a written will. Your heavenly will in the Bible. The moment you start reading the Bible, the moment you start spending your time in the word of God, you will know what you are supposed to have. You will know what your father has put in store for you. And after you have known, you are going to possess it. Having access to the family is not just enough to inherit. Having access, being born in a particular family is not enough for you to inherit what that family has. You must know the extent to which that family has acquired the things. You must know what your father is having and you know it as you take your time maybe reading that will if you have access to it. If you take time reading the word of God which is contained about the promises of God that means you'll be able to know that which God has prepared for you. The Bible is your heavenly will. You will know what your father Father has prepared for you as you spent your time in the word. When we read Acts chapter 20 verse 32, Paul said, I commend you to God and to the word of his truth, which is there to build you up. Which means the first thing is God and then his word. You have been commended to God if you have if you have Jesus inside your heart, Jesus is your root to God. Jesus is your way to salvation. Jesus is your way to God himself, is your way to the life you need, is your way to the blessings you seek. So the two steps for you to be blessed, number one is the Jesus who will give you access and then the word of God that will give you possession, that you know that this is the thing I've been looking for, this is the thing I really, I really need. So you need Jesus, you need the word of God. Is Jesus in Inside your heart. Jesus is inside your heart. If you have listened to the word of God and you have believed, you have believed the word of God. If you are doing the word, being a doer of the word is all you need. Not just listening to the word, not just following the word, not just understanding the word, but you must start doing the word of God. Then you have access to the promises of God. You have access to the blessings of the Lord. Have Jesus and commit yourself unto doing the word. Commit yourself into the word of God. Two steps for you to be blessed is Jesus the way and then the truth which is the word of God. You need Jesus and the word of God for you to be successful. You need Jesus and the word of God for you to be blessed. When these two meet together, you will be someone people will be appreciating, people will be admiring. I want to pray for you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord grant you not just access, but even possession to his blessings in the mighty name of Jesus.